Hi there, Booktube. It's Roz back with what I hope will be a, a brisk and breezy um, TBR video of what I'm hoping to read in June. Now, May was quite dominated for me by um, like three or four big reading events that I got caught up in. June, I've tried to hold back a bit from that because one of the things I'm doing is I'm doing Booktube Prize um, judging again for the semi-finals. I'm delighted to be doing um, one of the fiction sections. I've got six books, three are new to me, three are ones I've already read, um, but I'll need to revisit those three as well as read the three new ones. So I've got to keep other things under control. That said, um, I am buying into the fact that it's Pride Month and picking a couple of Pride of Pride reads, um, both of which that are, are very current and up to date. Now, before I tell you what those are, I should say that June is Pride Month, but in Brighton, we celebrate Pride our own in August. And it's something that the, you know, the, the city really gets behind. It is like our carnival. And I really hope we get to do at least a bit of that this year. Um, it's so important um, for like, the city and um our identity i suppose um to 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 celebrate pride community so let's hope covid doesn't stop us but pride month choices choice number one um is an american one detransition baby by tori peters i'm excited to be reading that because um as i as i may have mentioned before sean the book maniac really strongly recommended this book brita Bola. Um, was less enthusiastic. They are both people whose opinions I really respect and, um, you know, often find myself in tune with. So I shall find out who who I agree with on this one. That appeals to my sense of fun. Naughty, isn't it? The, um, the other choice is a British book and it's um, A Dutiful Boy by um, Mosin Zaidi. And it's a memoir written by a um a gay british pakistani muslim and it's about what that means what it means to have all those identities and and growing up and family uh, yeah i think it's going to be fascinating and um i'm very much looking forward to it so those are my pride choices a second kind of event that I, I've let myself be part of um, is Ancients of Thon. Couldn't resist that one because um, it's about encouraging us to read things from before 1700. And, you know, it's very me. I'm using it to spur me to read Gilgamesh, um, which is the oldest book uh, we know to have been written, written in cuneiform on clay tablets. I mean, oh, brilliant, isn't it? So I'm looking forward to that. The other thing that I'm going to read for Ancients of Thon is, is, is much more up to date. It's, it's, it's at the opposite end of that um, ancient to 1700 spectrum because it's um, a play from the 1660s and it's by Afra Ben, uh, English woman playwright. And I'm going to be reading that with Tilly for our discussing drama series. Um, the Rover, I think, is the one we're choosing. So that's Ancients of Thon. The third event that I'm taking part in is um, Caribathon, but I'm restricting myself to just one Caribathon choice. Now, where is it? Here we go. It's Derek Walcott's Omeros. Now, it's also a new country for me. It's a Scally Dandle book because it's, uh, Walcott is from St Lucia. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature, um, and this book was a kind of key element in him, in him, you know, one of the, one of the, one of the works that that uh, led him, I suppose, to getting the Nobel Prize. It's a little intimidating, which is why I'm glad to have um, the extra push of Caribathon to make me read it. I'm reading it with um, Stephanie Cohen as a buddy read. We, I think that that will really help us get through some of the challenges of this book because, you know, it's 300 plus pages of, a, of poetry, you know, epic, an, an, a modern epic that draws on, without being a retelling of, uh, draws on Homer, hence Homeros, um, the Iliad and the Odyssey and more. And um, uh, I will let you know how we get on, Stephanie and I. 
we're already in touch. We've just started it. Which leads me to what other poetry am I doing this month? I've become a bit of a poetry enthusiast these days, aren't I? And I've already got Dante's um, Purgatorio on the go. Um, you know, second um, cantiche of, um, of the Divine Comedy. And I'm successfully reading that because Tom... Of, of, of Tom L.A. Books is, is, is guiding me through that with his wonderful videos which I've recommended before and will recommend again. But another lovely, kind, supportive, poetry-loving um, booktuber has caught me up into another um, bit of poetry reading this month which again I think like, like the Dante will, will, will roll on um, beyond June um, but I was kind of starting at the start of June and that's the Dream Songs by John Berryman. Now, well-known kind of modern American poet that I didn't know at all and had never read anything by. Um, and Alan kindly sent me this book and he is working his way through it. There's 300, 385 poems in this, which is why I say, say it may take us a while. And he's doing, doing some videos about um, different poems from the book. And um, it's... I think it's going to be interesting for me to read um, something that is, I think, quite intensely American um, as poetry. I, I probably read more British poetry, although obviously the Walcott is from Seleucia, that's that's different, Dante, from Italy. But the majority of my poetry reading is, is, is British, so modern poetry. So we'll see. We'll see what I make of that. I will report back. Um, but go to Alan's channel if you want to find out more. Is that all the poetry? Yes, that's all the poetry. So what else am I reading? Oh, I know. One last thing that I've uh, I've definitely committed to read um, this month and I've just started is The Country Under My Skin by Gioconda Belli. And this, again, is something that I'm reading. It's a book you've made me do it um, book in that I'm reading it because um, Robin of Quiet Midden and I read um, a novel by Gioconda Belli in April, which you will know if you if you stick with this channel regularly, and if you do, I thank you so much. Um, but yeah, as we were reading The Inhabited Woman, we could tell that it was quite an autobiographical novel, and that made us intrigued to read her actual autobiography, which is this. And uh, delightfully, Alba Siriella has joined us for the ride. So um, it's a three-way buddy read, and I think Alba um, has some sort of, um, additional political and kind of Caribbean sensibilities to bring to this, which um, is going to give Robin and I an extra perspective. It's, you know, Belly was an upper class um, Nicaraguan who was drawn into the Sandinista movement to um, overthrow the Somoza dictatorship. So um, very interesting material. So that's my definite commitments for the month. I may throw in some extra things. We'll see. Have you read any of them? Any of them you want to kind of, without spoiling them, comment on um, and inspire me about? Any that you'd like to join us in reading? Um, and what are you going to read for Pride Month or Caribathon or Angelathon? Because I'd love to hear. Happy June, everyone.